In this video series, I'm gonna walk you through how I go about building a work truck that has a full solar panel system on board. This will be more of an overview series as opposed to a step-by-step -step guide on solar. It's also not meant to be a look at how cool my truck is video. There's plenty of videos like that on other channels. You may also disagree with how I went about designing and building my system, and that's perfectly okay. If I can give some people some ideas for their own projects, then it's worth it. If you didn't watch my video series on the battery import project, you may not know that I now have this warehouse. And the reason I bring that up is because I can now work on bigger projects. And since it's becoming winter now and colder, uh, I'm going to be moving indoors and working on more uh, projects for you guys. Um, I know you've seen a lot of review videos and a lot of like voiceover type videos from me recently in the last few years. Uh, that's been a time issue, that's been a money issue, that's been a lot of things, but um, I've made this investment in this, this workshop. Um, I have an office over there and this large space and a big workbench area that's kind of messy still. But anyways, I want to make use of that. I want to get a return on that investment. So I'm going to be doing some more uh, project type videos uh, now. And the first one I'm going to be working on is one that I've had in the works for a long time but just haven't been able to finish it and that is the, the work truck project. That project is kind of changing now into more of a solar powered work truck. Uh, I'm going to be installing, installing some solar panels on the bed and uh, some batteries and an inverter and all that stuff so that I can work um, from wherever I am. And so um, I want to kick off that video series and kind of get started. The first piece that I have here are some bed rails. And the reason that I'm going to put bed rails on the truck, I think they're ugly, but it, it's going to be very functional because it's going to be what um, the solar panel is attached to. Um, so today I'm going to go ahead and install those and kind of show you what this is going to look like. So here's the truck. Um, it's a 2012 Chevy 2500 HD. Um, gas, I know. Don't comment. <laughs> That's what I could afford. But anyway, um, we're going to be putting bed rails on the back here. And, uh, and that's going to give us a surface that we can put solar panels on top running this direction, probably at least two, uh, without affecting the bed. Because the, the solar panels will be up about this high, um, you know, about the size of a, or about the height of a tonneau cover, a little bit higher. And, and then I can still use the bed for plywood and wood and whatever else. So that's what we're going to do. That's going to complicate things later because I'm gonna to have to find a truck toolbox that will work around the bed rails, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I have some ideas on that, but we'll, we'll end up putting some batteries um, and an inverter and everything that we need. All the electronics will go inside of some sort of weatherproof box. Anyway, this bed rail is from Steelcraft Automotive. Uh, they sent this to me quite a while ago and I haven't been able to use them yet and I hope that they're not upset with me, but better late than never. So um, these are gonna go on the truck now. I'm not going, I don't have my normal video equipment. I apologize. I'm, using my cell phone today, uh, but I needed to ge get this project moving. Okay, well there they're on. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of chrome in the world, but uh, they didn't have like a black powder coat or anything like that. Plus, my wheel covers are chrome anyway, so it is what it is, it's no big deal. So the general idea here, if I can do this with one hand, 
is that the solar panels are going to lay across the bed. Let's see if I can tag something. They're going to lay across the bed on top of the rails like that. And so I needed to get these installed so that I could find some final measurements. You can always guesstimate with, you know, um, but, but until you get these things on and cinched down, you don't have a precise measurement. So I needed to get these on. Now I can take measurements of the exact real estate that we have to work with and order some solar panels that will um, reach all the way across and, um, you know, and then mount down into some Z brackets or L brackets or something like that. So that's the next step is to probably uh, mount the solar panels, but I also need to take some measurements and figure out a truck toolbox or some sort of weatherproof box that I can attach to the bed. But I want it to hang because, like I said, I do sometimes take sheet goods, plywood and stuff, uh, in the back of this truck and uh, just drop the tailgate and and everything like that and so if I have something on the bed of the truck that's going to limit my space so I'd like to find something that can hang um, if possible and if anybody has any ideas please let me know but otherwise I will do some scouring and searching and hopefully uh, we'll get that and the solar panels going for the next episode thanks for watching Thanks for watching part one of this video series. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below.